Okay, different perspective today. So, welcome to day six of week 12 of Arbanagoge. The, uh, essentially the fitness channel for the ungovernable. Yay! We're ungovernable. So, yeah. It's very windy. It is going to rain today. So, this could be fun. Let's go into the woods with lots of elderly trees. During a pretty windy day. I mean, it's not incredibly windy. It's not like Ohio windy or Chicago windy. But, yeah, it's just something to be aware of. If you're going to visit the woods every, every day, pretty much, you will see it change. And I'm hoping... Uh, that uh, there'll be a point in the future when this will be happening it'll be snowing yeah so let's get a comfy grip there yeah so yeah so I had a pretty rubbish day off yesterday for those of you who are hanging on tenterhooks the 3d printer has not arrived I am bitterly disappointed um, the tracking update does not give any information. I've had to ask this fella for more tracking information. <sighs> not good. You know, it's when, when it gets to like this point and, you know, I would be happy even with a we were in, you were out, you know, come pick up your parcel message. <sighs> but it is not to be. There is no 3D printer. There is no means of production. This is not an ordinary parcel. So yeah. So. Got a lot of things to figure out. We need to, uh, well, I need to change up the, um, the content. And there's a whole bunch of small videos to shoot. For you peeps out there. And I have, unusually, tomorrow off. Now I am going to assist a friend of mine filming a gig. So I'll be packing up all my camera equipment. And yes. And I'm pretty sure there'll be interesting things to do. But I have all of that day probably up until about five o'clock to go check out some stuff and get some stuff done so I'm because the 3d printer cannot arrive on a Sunday yeah and that's essentially all I'm waiting for on short order yes. I'll be able to concentrate so tomorrow I want to do the gear videos on the rig because it was sponsored by people who, it was basically put together by people who watch this channel every last part of it so yeah I think I owe a full, a full um, film rig review at the very least and I might even try and do my first cooking episode tomorrow and after that V was struck by a fast moving car and those movies were never made I get it Carpegian, which I failed to do, but it's just another example of techno funk. Well, I guess, look at this. I guess we're not going across there. Right. Let's just rain upstream. That's a good two feet deep there. At its lowest. And that's the bit I normally walk across to walk up to the bit with the waterfall, so we ain't doing that today. Because though my shoes are a bit waterproof, there's no point wading through water early in the morning. Unless you've got a good reason. So yeah, in the absence of a good reason. So, the point of today's video, this is what I was thinking about yesterday afternoon. I need to get some stuff built, hopefully recased and re-graphics carded my uh, Lenovo desktop PC sadly because it had a nice Lenovo logo on it 
maybe I can figure out how to put a Lenovo sticker on it. But yeah, that was very much an impulse buy about a year ago. And I want to play Fallout 4. And I want slightly faster video editing, so... Yes. And I want to reclaim the studio from being a junk room to being the room that I use everything. And the studio again. Yes. And yeah. So if you look at this, I suspect the water was even higher at some point yesterday. Maybe I do need to come out in the rain because it's very smooth. And there's only one set of dog tracks. Yeah. So, the thing I was going to talk about today, um, I was watching a bit of Doctor Who. And maybe if you don't like Doctor Who, you could change it around. But the premise is this. This is just a thought experiment, and like, almost like mental training. I want you to imagine Doctor Who knocks on your door and says, I need help. I have no companions. I choose you. You have one rucksack. So this doesn't need to be necessarily a survival rucksack. After all. Sorry. Just uh, having being a city person, although I've been out in the woods and stuff, generally when I'm out in the woods I'm making too much noise, but I've learned to quieten down recently. I'm pretty sure I just saw a kingfisher. How about that? I haven't seen one of them in about 20 years. <coughs> so yeah, this is the thing when I record it all in one take. I mean, I'm down in the woods. I'm interested. What's going on? So yeah, so Doctor Who knocks on your door, you've got five minutes, what do you pack? See? And it's just like a brain sharpening it. says, now, if you don't like Doctor Who, or you're not English enough to um, sort of be in touch with it, if it's one of those things that just irritates you, fine. Um, imagine you are accidentally knocked through time in the way that Star Trek likes to do and you arrive on the USS Enterprise and because you haven't graduated Starfleet Academy but they like having your perspective and want to keep it around you can replicate one pack of stuff you know also you know while you're the other premise I'd like to put is that you've got plenty of time, not to pick your stuff, but you've got plenty of time after you pick your stuff to improve your skills and things. So what would you then learn to do? Let us presume that the, the TARDIS is working, or let us presume that you've got about six months of your mission. What would you learn to do in those six months? What would you carry? There you go. That's your thought experiment. I want to mentally role-play one of those two scenarios. And if there's something that you don't already know how to do and you're not already working towards, maybe you should give some serious thought to learning that thing. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't feel like it's going to be great weather today. If you're living in my part of the world, sorry about that, not my fault. So yeah, that's the way it goes. It's going to be a pretty crappy day weather-wise. It's just about the only solace I can take from uh, being about to set off for work. Hence this very quick video. So I woke up a little bit later than I normally do. Just coming up to 8 o'clock. It's about 8.20 now. But I'd shoot out and get a quick vid done. Also, my exercises from yesterday. Oh, I wish I'd done them now. But I'll be doing those tomorrow. 
Oh, and it's a running day, Monday. And I start early. All this starting early crap. So yeah, that's what we've got. <coughs> it's a very short video this morning. Oh. So tomorrow it'll be the end of 12 full weeks. And maybe I'll have a bit more time to poodle out and uh, get this stuff done definitely haven't got it today but you know you live and learn oh, God, it's annoying waiting for stuff. that really is bugging me now Exchange of goods and services. Oh yeah. And it could be set on arriving today, but I'm going to be out. So yeah, these things are sent to tries. But yeah, that's a good thought experiment. Imagine that you're about to go away from everything you know. What would you take? And if you haven't got a handle on how to get that thing together, perhaps you should. So I'm going to leave it there because I need a drink of water. I came out, literally got dressed, run out of the house. I've got a million and one things to do. But maybe we'll get a million and one things to do done tomorrow. Thanks for watching and do take care.